Welcome to Psychology Daily. We continue the week on aggression and today I'm going to tell you about media violence exposure and how it is related to aggression. Moreover, which factors can protect your child from aggression? This video is based on Atika Kurama and colleague study where they try to understand what role TV shows and movies play in adolescent aggression and what factors can prevent them from being aggressive. They measure level of violence in most popular movies and TV shows from relevant period of time, three types of aggression, involvement in a physical fight, face-to-face -face bullying and cyberbullying, and internal family conflicts. They also measure parental involvement with questions like my parents or adults who take care of me, spend time just talking with me, or my family does something fun together. Restrictive parental mediation, active parental mediation, impulsivity and sensation seeking. Movie violence exposure was a strong risk factor for aggression. Effect of movie violence exposure was amplified in the context of high family conflict. Despite being a risk factor, movie violence exposure was not the strongest one. Impulsivity and family conflicts were. Perceived parental monitoring had a direct protective effect on aggression, suggesting that parental supervision and knowledge of whereabouts can reduce opportunities for engaging in aggressive behavior, regardless of level of movie violence exposure or impulsivity. Well, those results show that media violence exposure is not only a factor that leads to aggression, and there are some factors, like parental control, that leads to decrease in aggression in adolescence. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you tomorrow.